Hello and welcome to podcast number six. Uh, my name is Eric. And I'm Rusty. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the bar, yeah? At the bar, At yeah. the bar. Some nice, useful language. Yes, we like being at the bar. How to order drinks. And uh, what else do we have going on today? We're going to talk about some news. Yeah, we got some news. Uh, we're going to plug uh, the English SP here in a bit. And uh, yeah, we got some vocabulary for you. And I've heard that there's a very special treat. Uh, Rusty supposedly wrote a song for us. Yes, I, I wrote a little song in the, yesterday when I was taking the train, and I thought I would dedicate it for uh, our two websites, uh, English SP, and for two gringos. Do, do you are you a, an experienced songwriter, or is this your first song? Uh, no, I've I've written a few uh, poems. They always rhyme, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see here in a bit. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Before we get to that, let's talk really quickly about EnglishSP.com. Uh, English SP, that's obviously our site. That's the name of the podcast. And what we're doing is just providing free English. Totally the, free. Completely free. And the idea is just to make English fun. You know, because so many times you try to study English and it's just boring. We're trying to make it fun. And we want you guys to interact with us as well. So please subscribe. Subscribe. To our site. Tell your friends. Get on to all that social networking, you know, Facebook and Twitter and and just get it out there. If you if you like it, please get the word out there. Yeah, and please, we, we like seeing your comments too. So send us some comments and keep in touch and we'll try to we'll get back to you with some of the questions you have for us. And this podcast is English SP, but we're sponsored by our other business, Two Gringos. Yes, www.twogringoscompany.com. Yeah. I got it right this time. And what we really do there, uh, we do a lot of editing and and tr translation. So if you need something from Portuguese to English, you go ahead and send it to us and we'll translate it for you. And not just translate it, but we'll make it awesome. Yeah. And you can that's ready to deliver. You can just send it right from your message box. And there's a whole bunch of other good stuff on there. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, two Gringos Company and tell your friends about English SP and let's get to it. All right. News. So, uh, Rusty, what's in the news? Oh, we got some headlines here in uh, Sao Paulo. Uh, apparently, a panel of judges uh, picked Brazil's sexiest bum bum 2012 winner. Her name's Karine yeah. Felizerado. I, I lost again. You lost? I yes. Was, well, I you're was third place. I was third place. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, apparently, the sexiest bum bum for guys is uh, that's that's not happening this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> although, although you yeah. you could have been chosen as one of the winners because you do have a yeah a sort of stop, yeah let's stop right stop there right stop there. it's <laughs> gross <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I'll never be in one of those contests and the main reason is because my ass is extremely hairy and I don't want to shave it you can always wax it yeah that doesn't seem good that hurt yeah. like the forty year old virgin getting his chest waxed yeah. so this this lady that won the uh, the contest did you see her butt. I did. I, I checked her site on Facebook, and I actually sent her a message to, to say, hey, would you be interested in uh, contacting two gringos if, uh, you know, we'd like to help you out with some of your English queries, you know? I don't know if she'll contact us or not. Did you really? Oh, yeah, I did. That's I was going to, that's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she speaks English. Maybe we can interview her. Yes, well, we for sure. And uh, we, another, one, some other headline news here. We got a, a guy from Calgary who's... Uh, who has been uh, taking the longest horseback ride, 16,000 kilometers from uh, Calgary to Sao Paulo. Apparently, it's his uh, lifetime dream. Really? That's there, his dream? Uh, it's going to take a lifetime. To ride a horse from Calgary to Sao Paulo. Maybe he was coming to see uh, Miss Bum Bum. Is he retarded? <laughs> like, really? That's his dream? <laughs> his life, his <laughs> lifelong dream. Oh, my God. Well, you know, some dreams are not, not uh, whatever. That's cute. That's awesome. If he was coming all the way here to see Miss Bum Bum, I can understand. No, no, I can't. No? Man, you got to check out Miss Bum Bum. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Have you ever ridden, rode a horse before? It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. man, that is not comfortable. It hurts your Bum Bum. This guy must have balls of steel. <laughs> all right, so class time. But before we get to the class, do would you like to sing your song? I think I'll uh, wait till the end of the, the lesson, at the end of the, the conversation here. Because uh, save, right. the, save the best for last. Save the best for So stay tuned. A great song is coming. Yes. You'll want to download this song. So, Rusty, why don't you take the lead on this lesson? Because I have actually never been to a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's <so> funny. <laughs> 
really, really. In case my wife is listening, I've never been to a bar. I would never guess that about you. I thought you might have grown up in a bar. Maybe, actually, maybe your parents owned one or something back in the States. Actually, I used to go to a bar a lot as a child with my mother. She would go, <laughs> I she would do not go, doubt that. She would go during the day, and uh, I would sit there and drink root beers and play pool. Root beer. <laughs> what a weird life. Minus the root. <laughs> All right, uh, today we're going to be doing uh, some conversation, some vocabulary about at the bar. So when you uh, travel to North America, you know, States or Canada, you're going to be uh, probably wanting to interact with some other gringos, try to practice your English that you've learned here. And there's no better place to meet and talk with somebody than at a bar. It's the best place to get directions to. Uh, if when you're lost, you just show up in an Irish pub and say, hey, where, you know, where can I get this? Where can I get that? You know, the yeah. bartenders are full of information. Yeah, but don't ask the really drunk guy because he doesn't know shit. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, when it comes down to ordering drinks, you're at the bar, you walk in the bar with a group of friends, and uh, you're going to go up to the bar to get the drinks. So maybe before that, you need to ask your friends a few questions, you know? Uh, what would you be asking them? Um, what are you having? What That's, do you like to drink? What could I get you? Who has the most money? Because they will be paying. Can can I use your credit card? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, using your credit card too. Sometimes when you go to the bar in the States or Canada, when you walk up to the bar and uh, you ask, uh, you can ask the bartender, can I run a tab? Yeah, run a tab or open a tab. Open up a tab because you at that moment he'll ask you for your credit card and they he or she will ask for the credit card and you put that behind the bar. Yeah, you don't actually have to pay with the credit card, but the bartender will hold your credit card while you are drinking. And then at the end they'll give you a bill. A little insurance so that you don't do a runner or run away. Yeah. Without paying. A little dining dinner. But here in Brazil I, I notice I go to these bars and I, I order a beer and no one takes money from me. And I'm like, yeah, just wow. wait till the end. Yeah, yeah they wait till the yeah. end. But I'm looking at sometimes I could just like walk away because on the street I see people going out and smoking. They're yeah. leaving the place and coming back. Who? I'm just wondering, like, who's uh, monitoring this? You know? Uh, typically in the United States or Canada, they'll either charge you uh, for cash right when you order the drinks, or you'll open a tab with your credit card and you'll yeah, pay we, at the end of the evening. Cash on delivery. You receive the beer. You pay for it. Yeah. So yeah, what are you having? What can I get you? Or, hey, I'll get the first round. The first round's on me. Nice. The rounds, yes. We have first round, second round. It's, it's, it's the actual, uh, the, the drinks on the table. Everyone's drinking. So if, if we go out and let's say it's me and Rusty and our wives and Rusty says, I'll get the first round, he's literally saying he's going to pay for all four drinks. Yes. It's going to go on my bill. Yeah, I'm gonna or I'm gonna pay in cash. And typically, typically it goes: uh, you get the first round, I get the second round, somebody else gets the third round, and then it starts over again. Yes. So everyone, everyone gets a turn. If you're the if you're the fifth person in that group, though, you're kind of lucky sometimes because uh, by the by the time it gets to you, the other four might be intoxicated if they're girls. True, <laughs> not in my group. <laughs> not in your group because we go up to the hundredth. Hardcore, hardcore. <laughs> the, the, the two hundredth round. <laughs> so now you're you're at the bar and uh, you're or you're talking to the waitress or the waiter. You're nice. ordering the drinks from the bartender or the waiter or waitress. What would you What would you say in this situation, Eric? Um, I would say, give me everything. <laughs> give but, me everything but behind the bar. You, but the Brazil, you shouldn't say that. You should say something like, uh, "Hello, could I please have?" Yes, or I'd like to have. I'd like to have. Make sure you use the word please. Yes, always be polite in yeah. the bar, and you'll 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 notice that the waitress or the the waiter will be, you know, take a they'll take care of you a little bit, you know. And even if your English is wrong, as long as you say please, please, thank you, they're gonna love you. Please goes a a long way. Yeah. Or uh, you can ask for a recommendation, like maybe you don't know what yeah, the recommendations. Could you please recommend a cocktail? What is the house special? What is the house special? I would like to have something with tequila. What do you recommend? And also in Canada and America, we have a lot of beers on tap. Tap. Interesting. Yes. What is a tap? A tap. It's like a, think of it as a faucet <laughs> where Ooh. beer well, pours out a, of it. What is a faucet? <laughs> uh, something that's in your kitchen, uh -huh. your sink. Or, 
yeah. your bathroom. It's a place literally like, like if I want to wash the dishes, I have to turn the water on. It's that thing that the water comes out of. But in this case, the beer comes out of At it. At the bar, they have, the beer comes out of fresh it. Fresh beer from a keg. Yeah. Well, we, we, we hope it's fresh. Yeah, so that's called the tap. What do you have on tap? And when you're ordering the drink, sometimes you're ordering a cocktail and you notice the bartender's pouring you a little less than you would like. You could ask him to be more generous. Hey, hey man, can you, or hey miss, or <laughs> hey lady, could lady. you <laughs> could you be more generous? You know, don't be so stingy. Give make, me a little extra. Make, make my cocktail stronger. Make it stronger, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, maybe, uh, maybe not, but let's definitely use the please. Hey, uh, could you please make that a little bit stronger? And unlike Brazil, we do we have a tipping culture in North America. Yeah. What's the standard tip in Canada? Uh, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> oh, you're talking tip. about the money. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, 10%. My, my advice is the first time you order your first round of drinks, tip the bartender a lot. And the oh, next time yeah. you go to order your drinks to the bar, he or she will wait on you a lot more quicker than as opposed to just leaving 10 cents. Yeah. Uh, typically in the States, we do a dollar a drink. Like if I go to the bar dollar bills, and eh? there's four people, I order four drinks, I'll tip four or five dollars. But if we're doing a tab and we're paying at the end of the night for everything, it's uh, probably 15 to 20 percent. So America still has that one dollar bill. Eh? Canada, we got the, the loony. It's a coin. It's a the gold loony. coin. That's right. It's huh? a loony. And for the two, we got a toony. The loony toonies. It's a coin, yeah? For, yeah, it's a coin. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, the we still got the dollar bills, which is good for the lap dances. And the bartenders love to receive those coins. And sometimes, because North America is cold, in some bars you go to, they have a coat check, a place to put your coat. Yeah, I'm from California. We didn't have that. No, but uh, <laughs> if you went to Minnesota, if you went up to Minnesota, New York. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, coat checks. Some places. Uh, Madonna actually had her first uh, job as a coat check. Seriously? <laughs> That's I not, think it was a it was a hat check girl. Yeah, she I thought to, her first job was a cocksucker. Oh, she's <laughs> <laughs> that's how she became so famous. <laughs> I have to edit that out. No, no, I saw like a documentary on her. She was like humping, humping means sex. She was humping some producers, and wow. that's how she got her first like record label. Nice. Like she wow. says it proudly. Okay, well she she's admitting that. Yeah, well you know. Uh, so well, yeah, could be at, making it up. at the bar, you open lines, uh, little pickup lines. Uh, conversation starters. Had to start that conversation. You're there, you're Brazilian, you're alone at the bar, but you want to talk to people. Like, how do you approach these people? You just sit there and wait for them to come talk to you? Well, it doesn't happen. Shy, Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Reach out. Reach <laughs> out. <laughs> Touch someone. <laughs> Touch their balls. What, uh, what's your favorite pickup line? Uh, you know, I don't really have a. I've never been good at the pickup lines. I'm not very. I'm not a very smooth talker. I usually just say hi. And that works for you? No. <laughs> no. Hi no. and bye. Yeah, nothing works for me. It's a. Uh, mir it's a miracle I got my wife. You could always walk. You you could walk up to the uh, someone and say hi. I'm Brad Pitt. Maybe that might work. Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm Brad Pitt. A, hi, I'm a fat, ugly version of Brad Pitt. Are you? <laughs> I'm Brad Pitt. That's uh, I'm now, uh, you know, doing some things for a new movie. I'm, I'm eating a lot. I'm trying to get my weight up a little bit. I'm a short, fat, <laughs> ugly Brad Pitt. Do you like balls in your mouth? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if that would work. Uh, I'm not so good. Uh, do you have a pickup line? Uh, I, I personally, I like to use like, "You smell nice." What's what are you wearing? You know, like what is it? What's what's that you're wearing? You know. It yeah. That's his words. Again, it's an in thing, you know. Or uh, nice legs. When do they open? <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, my God. That one, can, that one can always get a slap in the face. You that's know, a but, uh, slap in the face. But, uh, but to never get a slap in the face. Like, you know. I think if you're, if you're a Brazilian, you just walk in and say, Hi, uh, I'm from Brazil. Uh, can you recommend a uh, nice something? And then just talk. Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's a definite icebreaker. Can you recommend? What, what's the, the, the drink of this town, you know? Yeah. And they'll say beer, and then you can go, what Ooh, beer do you have on tap? beer. Kiss beer. So, you walk up to a nightclub or, 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 or a bar, because we're at the bar, and the doorman or the security or the, the bouncer, as we like to call them sometimes, he asks you for $5. What is this five bucks for? Um... It's so he doesn't punch you. 
No, it's called cover charge. Oh, a cover charge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cover charge is where they charge you to come inside, yeah? It's here in Brazil. I think you use this money to pay the band, or there's a, some people playing music in there. Coover, Coover, you think? You call it Coover charge? Yeah. At the bar with English SP. Please join us at the bar any Friday. And hang out for a second because we got a song coming.